Welcome to Blueprint IoT. In this video, we will learn how to install Node-RED on a Raspberry Pi. In case you're not familiar with Node-RED and what it is exactly and what to use it for, make sure to check out our playlist about Node-RED. To get started, we open the browser and just hit the Node-RED website where we'll find out all information that we actually need. Scrolling down, we can already find get started, hit this and we can choose where we want to install node red actually raspberry pi is already given here so we'll just hit this and there we go we get a bunch of information of how to install node red and what we can already see is that we need node.js and npm to install node red or to run node red overall and they actually provide a whole command line to install all of this at the same time so we'll just copy this open a terminal window and paste it there. And once that's done, we can just hit enter. During this process, we will get a bunch of questions where we are actually asked if we're really sure that we want to do it. So the question is about Raspberry Pi specific nodes. So that's actually something you normally want to do because then you can work with the GPIOs from the Raspberry Pi. You can also install this later, but once we get started, we can just install everything we need and we don't have to install this later. So now we're getting actually a nice overview of what's going on and it will take a couple of minutes, of course, depending on which Raspberry Pi you're working with. I'm on a Raspberry Pi 4 and the speed of your SD card is also something we have to take into account. So make sure to have a fast one. And of course, depending also on the internet speed, because a lot of packages need to be downloaded in the first place. All right, here we go. Now we can customize the settings, which normally you would hit no, but in our case, I will hit yes, just to give you an overview of what you could do. So first of all, we can create the settings file, which is quite useful for later changes for very advanced stuff. So normally you wouldn't have to deal with this. You can set up user security. So that's something that's quite useful in case you wanna run this Raspberry Pi Node Red instance as a server. In my case, that's not the case. So I don't have to set up a user because I'm the only one accessing this Raspberry Pi physically. Project features is also something if you wanna have a very big use case going on using Node-RED. So that's also something I don't need. You can configure the standard name of your flows, but I'm fine with the default one. You can encrypt your credential file, which I also don't want to go for. And there you go with some like fancy skins for your working environment. And I'm also fine with the default one. You can choose the text editor. Again, I go with the default. You can choose if you want to allow the function node to load external modules. And the function node is actually the node where you can start actual coding within Node-RED in case it's necessary. So I will allow it, but normally you have no need to get into this, except you want to have a very advanced application. So there we go. That's it. In case you select no, you don't want to customize those settings. You just hit no, and then you're already at this point. Otherwise, we just had a quick run through, but everything kind of settings you don't have to deal with in case you're a standard user. So, all right, this is it. Node-RED is installed and we can figure this out by hitting the Raspberry Pi symbol and go for programming. And there it is, Node-RED is already there. We just hit it to start it. Of course, normally I would reboot at this point to make sure everything is saved correctly, but I don't wanna abort this recording. So that's the default window you get if Node-RED is starting. Just let me close the other shell here. So you can see at the beginning, you get all this standard commands to start and stop Node-RED itself. Also the command you need to use to auto start Node-RED at every boot. In case you wanna run some kind of automation on your Pi or home automation, you wanna be sure that Node-RED is always started in case you lose power or whatever is going on. Please note that this shell of a terminal is actually not a terminal anymore. Now it's the Node-RED console. So it's only for Node-RED. You cannot use other commands you normally would use in your terminal shell. So scrolling down, we can see that Node-RED was starting and finally started all the flows and the server is now running at this specific IP address, which you can click or copy and insert it into your browser. 
Alternatively, in case you don't want to go with this IP address, you could also go for localhost and afterwards specifying the port 1880, which is the default port for Node-RED. So here we go, we started Node-RED and we can do a little tour, which we will skip because we have already some videos in place how to get started with Node-RED. Just let me show you the localhost version. Just type it in to your browser URL and there we go. Node-RED is loading and we will end up at the very exact same place. So no matter how often you open this in your browser, it's always just a new window or new way to accessing the same dashboard, the same canvas of Node-RED. So that's exactly the same. As soon as I insert something here and hit deploy, no matter where and in which way we open another Node-RED window, it will always end up at the same place because there's only one Node-RED instance running here. They have only one console going on and everything here, no matter if it's a different browser, different tab, a different window, will end up at the same place. So maybe you have to refresh your page or hit deploy, but that's basically just a different way of accessing the very same thing. So that's all for the moment, all about how to install Node-RED on Raspberry Pi. Make sure to reboot after you install just to be sure. In case you're interested in more stuff about Node-RED and how to get started, make sure to check out our playlist about Node-RED. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Make sure to give a thumbs up in case you liked it and make sure to be subscribed for more videos about how to use Node-RED on a Raspberry Pi. See you.